Facts First presents The Health Impacts of Plant-Based Diets It can be challenging to know what diets are right for you these days and what diets aren't. You can become overwhelmed after only a few minutes online because there's so much contradicting information. Between the carnivore diet, the vegan diet, the plant-based diet, the low-calorie diet, well, things can get really confusing. We can break down a few things for you here, though, to make it a little easier to understand. On the carnivore diet, you can only eat meat and animal products, and carbohydrates are off-limits. Studies have shown that the carnivore diet can help with diabetes, arthritis, depression, and anxiety. The problem with the diet, though, is it's very restrictive people tend to get tired of eating the heavy meat-only diet. Some embrace it, but others can't. The diet can cause high cholesterol and digestive issues as well. Finally, meat and eggs don't provide all the necessary nutrients. The vegan diet is almost the exact opposite of the carnivore diet, but it too is very restrictive. On the vegan diet, you can't eat any animal products, so that means that you can't have meat, cheese, eggs, or even dairy. You can have carbs on the diet, but only sprouted grain bread and whole grains. There are some vegan junk foods that you can enjoy, like Oreos, but if you're on a vegan diet to lose weight, Oreos is probably not what you want. Many people find it hard to stick to this diet. It can be very challenging to rely on seeds, nuts, and vegetables for all of your sustenance. The good news for vegans, though, is that many restaurants are coming out with plant-based meats. Burger King now has the Impossible Whopper and McDonald's is getting ready to release its own version of a vegan burger. Dunkin' Donuts has plant-based sausage. Finally, on the vegan diet, you'll need to take a vitamin supplement. On this diet, you won't get the amount of calcium and vitamin B12 that your body needs. A plant-based diet doesn't mean that you are vegan, because you are allowed to eat fish and lean meat on this diet. The health impacts of plant-based diets are impressive. According to a study by Harvard University, eating fish every week can reduce your risk of heart attack by up to 30 percent. This diet can also help with weight loss. If you're going to eat meat on this diet, it needs to be high-quality, unprocessed, and hormone-free. Calorie counting is the easiest diet to stick to. You can eat whatever you want, as long as you keep your calorie count down. And there are plenty of calorie counting apps that you can download to your cell phone, making it easier to stay on track. If you're planning to start counting calories, there are certain foods that you probably want to avoid, though, because they'll have a negative impact on your health. You might think that low-fat milk is good for you because it is lower in fat, but you're also missing out on essential vitamins. Low-fat and skim milk don't have the benefits you get from whole milk. If you need a boost of energy in the morning or before a workout, energy bars may not be the best option. They contain a great deal of protein, yes, but they're also loaded with sugar and calories. Diet sodas may have zero calories and carbs, but they're still not good for your diet. The artificial sweeteners in the diet soda are actually worse than regular sugar. They fool your body into making it think that you're eating food, and that raises your insulin level, and it stores those sweeteners as fat, the very thing you're trying to avoid doing by keeping sugar out and using an artificial sweetener. Oatmeal is great for a diet, but flavored oatmeal is loaded with sugar and calories. If you want to add some flavor to your oatmeal, you can add fruit or yogurt. Bran muffins can be healthy, but not the store-bought ones. These bran muffins are loaded with salt and sugar to improve their flavor. If you want to eat a healthy bran muffin, make it at home yourself. Turkey is an excellent source of lean protein. However, the type of turkey that you choose is essential. The pre-sliced turkey that you find in the store it's loaded with sodium. It's best to roast a turkey at home and then slice it yourself for sandwiches. Wraps can be pretty good for you, but you need to put the right things into that wrap. If you're filling it with salty meats and extra condiments, you're not doing yourself any favors by making a wrap. Pretzels may be fat-free, but they also cause other problems. They're made with white flour, and that converts into sugar in your body. That causes your blood sugar to spike, and you're only going to feel more hungry. You might think you're doing yourself a favor by drinking sports drinks, but they're made of water, sugar, and artificial flavoring. If you want a boost of electrolytes, stick with coconut water or bananas. Canned soup might be quick and convenient, but it's really not good for you. These soups that are already canned are loaded with sodium and calories. That's not going to help you reach your weight loss goals. What's the worst thing about being on a diet for you? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.